So last year, and for many years, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars has been paid to the World Health Organization, hundreds of millions of dollars a year. And last year was $452 million, and China paid $42 million. Before that, it was $500 million, and China paid less than $40 million. And before that, it was similar numbers in the 400s, 300s, and sometimes even in the 500s of millions of dollars. And China would do uh, proportionally at just a small fraction of that number. And I think they have to get their priorities right. And their priorities are that everybody has to be treated properly, every country. And it doesn't seem that way, does it? It doesn't seem that way. So we're going to do study, investigation, and we're going to make a determination as to what we're doing. In the meantime, we're holding back. We're going to — we want to see it very unfair. So the United States, $452 million compared to $42 million. That's to the World Health Organization. That's not good. That's not good. Not fair. Not fair at all. And other countries, as you know, also gave very substantially less than the United States. And the World WHO, World Health, got it wrong. I mean, they got it very wrong. In many ways, they were wrong. They also uh, minimized the threat very strongly, and uh, not good. I want to take this opportunity to express the thanks of an extremely grateful nation to the Americans who go to work every day, especially in these critical industries in the midst of the pandemic, to care for and protect and feed American people, including medical personnel, law enforcement, first responders, food suppliers, sanitation workers. And somebody mentioned today, would you please